All right, guys, we're at the Dynamic Disc headquarters, and I got a couple slammers, and I'm gonna play the local nine-hole course. Let's get it. Okay, so we're going right there. So let's not go in the pond. How's that? Oh, so close. That was crazy. That's in. Oh, my God. So close. So I tried to ace it, and that's the beauty of the slammers. I went past the basket and still didn't really go too far in the crap. Oh, I'm gonna sidearm this one. See if the wind lets me go through the gap. Oh, oh, oh wow. Never thought I'd need to do this, but hey, you never know. Oh, that was pretty good. I'll take that. We got about a 40 mile an hour tailwind, so I have a feeling we're gonna drop here. See if I can put it high enough. Wow, that was a really good putt. <laughs> I think they designed this course for the slammer. It's all kinds of cool angles and stuff. All right, I'm gonna throw a slammer, guys, if you didn't know already. <laughs> I would have probably thrown a slammer even if I didn't have only slammers. <laughs> Oh, too straight. Yeah, that's Raptor range. See if we can't hit a long putt with a slammer too. Oh, I gave her a runny. There we go. All right, this one I'm just gonna kinda throw a natural flex. We got a right to left wind, so it's gonna wanna push me, so I'm gonna counter it with some angle. Nice, that'll work. Slammer anti putt. Oh, four. <laughs> so we got a pretty strong crosswind. And my rule, whether I throw an upshot or a drive on a hole, if the wind, if it's a crosswind this way, and I'm always gonna want to throw a disc that's gonna work and go straighter versus like if I throw a disc up in the wind and the side I'm just gonna carry way right. So I always, if it's a left to right, I'm gonna throw backhand. If it's a right to left, I'm gonna throw sidearm because it's a lot more controllable to throw a shot that's spinning and going straighter versus a shot that might pick up and go left or right based on if you're throwing backhand or sidearm. So it's a crosswind, slammer naturally hyzers, so the wind's gonna pretty much cancel out the stability of the disc, so I'm pretty much just gonna aim straight at it. I'll throw the blue one again. So pretty much perfect, like I said, birdie. All right, so this is pretty much the opposite of the last hole. The wind's obviously going this way, so I'm gonna play with the wind instead of against it. So I'm gonna throw a sidearm. Pretty much similar scenario, I'll pretty much try to throw it straight at the pin and let the stability take over. Holy cow, oh wow. That's crazy. I turned that over a little bit and the slammer's so overstable, it hyzered back even in a crosswind. All right, so I turned it over a little bit, the slammer hooked up and we got this. Yeah, another birdie. Good deal. That's the other thing is slammers are forgiving. Like I said, I turned that one over and the slammer kind of saved me because it's so overstable. I threw it too far left, but the slammer kicked into stability and gave me a 20 footer. So always check the wind, see what we're gonna do. Pushing this way, so we're gonna throw it back in. I'll do a run up so I can get that momentum and get that ace. Come on, that's it. Oh, so close. <laughs> so I definitely tried to ace this one and I didn't really go too far past. I mean, normally when you're throwing a regular disc and you ace run it, you're like way deep. But this one only went like, as you can see, 25 feet deep. Oh, no. All right, well, got another ripping left to right win. And I'm gonna throw over the top and let the slammer do some work. Come back left, hopefully. I think I'm gonna have to throw it like straight at it because it's gonna like do it like a drop. Is what I'm thinking. Well, that was pretty much perfect. Let's try an ace run now. Come on, go left. Go in. 
Oh, I didn't hyzer enough. I was parked though. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm throwing these shots in pretty big head crosswinds and headwinds. And the, the slammer is still like fighting back left into a left to right, which is hard to find a disc that'll do that, especially a putter. So that's one of the huge things that I love about it is that it fights the wind really well. I threw two slammers and I had two bullseye hits. One, well, I guess it's not a bullseye, but I mean, I'm pretty much like a me away from the basket. So like six, seven feet, so it's almost a bullseye. All right, we got a par four, 550. That's gonna be tricky. I think I'm gonna have to try a backhand slammer roller. Never tried it before. I don't know if it'll ever be done, but uh, so overstable, I'm gonna have to throw it like inverted for it to actually stable up and then land flat and roll. I'm gonna have to literally throw it like that. <laughs> hey, I think I can reach it from there maybe. <laughs> That's great. Let's try another one. That was kind of fun. I don't know if I, what's up? I'll try, I'll try an air shot, see just raw distance, see how far I can go. I don't have to throw it like super ante and just try to keep it ante the whole way. Whoops. Phone fell out. <laughs> Slammer went flying and so did my phone. <laughs> that was a good shot though. <laughs> All right, and we got a up shot to get up and down with the first birdie on a par four with the slammer. Hopefully. So the crosswind, what am I, you know what? See what wind would be better. Uh, it's just pretty much just tailwind. A little bit of a cross, but. Go in. Oh! Wow, I think I'm a little deep sauce. <laughs> that almost went in. <laughs> All right, we'll do like a little backhand. Wow, that wind took it. <laughs> All right, see if I end with the par here. Yeah, sweet. All right, guys, I'm done with my round. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let's see what the teammates can do on this same nine hole course with their signature disc.